With a flip of a switch this week, Verizon's 5G network has gone from covering a few city blocks to 200 million Americans. We've got the details. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a big update from the race for 5G. This week on Tuesday as part of the iPhone 12 launch, Verizon announced and launched their 5G nationwide network. So this was, up until this point, Verizon's 5G ambitions in the United States have just been focused on super short range millimeter wave band coverage that was crazy, crazy fast, but was only in a couple dozen cities and only tiny parts of those cities. Now, with a new 5G iPhone coming to market, that's not going to be very uh, competitive when both AT&T and T-Mobile already have 5G coverage over big parts of the country. So, of course, Verizon has been planning for this, and the iPhone launch is their excuse to flip the switch and turn on their own 5G nationwide network, is what they're calling it. And, boom, now they say they have coverage of 5G coverage in 1,800 cities and towns covering 200 million Americans, and will be expanding even further from there. So, wow, does this mean they've got this crazy fast speeds everywhere? Is this you know, 5G Nirvana suddenly all over the place, the same stuff they have in these core cities? No, not even close. So what, what Verizon is doing is the same thing that AT&T has done, which is layering a 5G network on top of the existing 4G network using a technology called dynamic spectrum sharing. So this lets the 5G, real 5G, it's um, um, technology, share the airwaves with 4G, um, but it's like you know, letting faster cars on to a freeway, but not adding more lanes. So it doesn't ma magically make for faster speeds and more capacity because, well, all those 4G devices are still sharing those same airwaves as well. So it gives Verizon a lot of coverage, but it's not going to be dramatically different than the 4G network. Basically, it'll be really good 4G on these new 5G devices. And then over time, as Verizon adds more network capacity and everything else, it will ramp up from there. So the core of the news, Verizon now has 5G all over the place. So a lot, a lot of coverage, but it's just going to be starting out at really good 4G. Now, a little bit of other news as part of the, the announcement. Verizon actually announced they had turned on their millimeter wave 5G in a whole bunch more cities. So I think they're up to 55 cities now, a whole bunch of uh, stadiums and arenas and uh, airports are now getting ramped up with this millimeter wave 5G. So this is the 5G that is um, the, the kind of the, the 5G of science fiction. It is crazy, crazy fast. Verizon announced they've actually doubled the peak speeds on this, so now four gigabits per second are possible under ideal circumstances, and we've already seen a few real-world speed tests shared getting close to that in core urban areas where Verizon millimeter wave 5G is. Uh, the nationwide 5G, that has also been turned on across the country, but it requires software updates for Verizon 5G devices to get. So those will be slowly percolating out to existing of, um, 5G devices that are compatible. And then, of course, the new iPhones, when they ship next week, they will be compatible out the gate with the nationwide 5G. Now, what about the plans for this? Well, most Verizon plans, most all current Verizon plans, include access to nationwide 5G um, for free if you assuming you have a 5G compatible phone. Um, with the but the catch is it's the same exact terms and conditions and limits and significant limits of their 4G plans. So you, if you have hotspot limits and you have throttling limits and uh, network management and video throttles. Because it's not any extra capacity on this nation, 5G nationwide network, it's the same limits apply to that. There are, for the plans that include millimeter wave 5G, which Verizon is calling their ultra wideband network, their higher end plans include that for free, or you can add it on to some of the other plans for $10 a month. Those have much higher limits, but only when you're in those very limited millimeter wave areas. So that's kind of the update on Verizon's 5G, now it is really a three-way race of to bring out better, faster 
5G speeds and coverage to the country because T-Mobile already has their long-range 5G. They've actually got a big head start on that. AT&T this summer started turning on nationwide 5G and rolling out their 5G layered on top of 4G. And now Verizon has joined the race as well. We've got the new iPhone coming out that will be able to take advantage of this. So we got 5G going mainstream and it's going to be an exciting race to watch. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.